Stay tuned. The Ancient Fang Club will be right back. Maori wanted to see America. Piper wanted to host an African exchange student. But she's white. And she's a white South African girl. She's been dropped into a house of blacks. And against the odds, they formed a friendship. Until prejudice threatened to tear them apart. The factory thieves. She's gone, Daddy. They took her. In honor of Black History Month, celebrate two girls' strength and courage as they discover the color of friendship. Disney Channel's Emmy Award-winning movie. Tonight at 8, 7 Central, part of Zoom Weekend. Kelly's life was perfect. Until... Military school? Now she's got to turn Olive Drab into totally bad. Get down here, cadet! A Disney Channel original movie. Hilary Duff, Christy Carlson Romano, Cadet Kelly, opening in March. Tonight on an all-new episode of The Proud Family, when a wild ball lands Penny in the past. 1955, where am I? She learns at tough times to lead to a bright future. Check out The Proud Family tonight at 7, 6 Central, part of Zoom's Weekend. Some dads are happy mowing the lawn and washing the coat. Not Wayne Zielinski. Ah! That is what we all put after. Don't you hate when that happens? You fill Jay's spare time with cloning, time hopping, and brain swapping. You know, the normal family stuff. My adventures were fine. Danger! Danger! You get the general idea. The hit movies have been zapped into Disney Channel's newest series, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show. Every day, only on Disney. One more word out of either of you. I'll turn the time machine around. We now return to the Ancient Paint Club right here on Disney. Stay tuned. The Ancient Paint Club will be right back. All right, lift me up. <laughs> ah. Hey, surfers. Marcus here. You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm here to tell you about the new movie, Return to Neverland, starring Peter Pan. Yep, Peter Pan is back. And this time, he's got to save a new lost boy. Or should I say, lost girl? Hello, Wendy. I'm not Wendy. I'm her daughter, Jane. The original Peter Pan was created in 1953. And now, Return to Neverland is the next chapter in the continuing story of Peter Pan. Lost boys, go in. Greatly. Nib. Let's win. Ow. Back in the 50s, animators had no idea what it would look like when a person flies. To help them visualize it, the original voice of Peter Pan, Bobby Driscoll, was rigged up to fly. And these days, thanks to green screen, they can put any picture they want behind me. Looks like I'm off to Neverland. Do you believe in magic? Luckily, I'm not afraid of heights. Cool, huh? Whoa! Hey, guys, it's me, Marcus! Follow me! more flying by Peter Pan and not me. Be sure to catch Return to Neverland opening February 15th. Come on, we gotta fly out of here. Hey guys, can you let me down from here? Please? We now return to the Ancient Paint Club right here on Disney. Stay tuned, the Ancient Paint Club will be right back. Tonight on Disney, when the Griffins discovered a lost treasure on their boat, they made him part of the family. 13 years later. Exciting now? My whole life is different. I don't feel any different. That little treasure is turning into a teenager and going through some major changes. You actually think that Cody's a mermaid? Merman. Now this family must stick together. Am I the only sane one in this house? Chess Starbuck and Courtney Draper from the Jersey Star in the 13th year. Tonight at 935, 835 Central, part of Zoom Weekend. The Movie Surfers on Movies. When I see a movie for the first time, it's exciting. I know that people like me need to be fun. If you ever see a really good movie, you learn things about the other people that's not what you expect. He's about to film, so, uh, I think we have to be quiet. A movie starts always exciting because they're like speed, rolling, action. Why did you want to tell this story on film? What I love most about movies is comedy. I love laughing at movies. Good movies really bring a lot of diverse people together from different groups, different styles, you know, just liking the same thing. You know what was my favorite part in the movie, though, was the relationships. What I was most interested in was how they got the voices to match the characters so well. It's brilliant, 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 I tell you, genius! <laughs> I'll smash it with a hammer! I really like movies that have the main person really fighting for what they believe in. The show that takes you behind the scenes with kids just like you. You realize how much work people have to put in to make this movie great. Movie Surfers. I'm totally psyched. Go behind the scenes with Movie Surfers, only on Disney. We now return to the Ancient Paint Club right here on Disney. Playhouse Disney. I wonder if you know who's coming up next. Sure 
there's a hint for you. He lives in this tree. Who can it be? It's true. He's so funny. That's right. Next up is the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Here inside Playhouse Disney. Playhouse Disney presents... Hi there, it's me, Steve. And as you can see, everybody's working real hard here. Well, almost everybody. Hey, Brandon, why aren't you drawing? It's just my brown crayon. Well, Brandon took my black one. I see. Well, hey, Brandon, is this the dog bone you've drawn here? It's my dog, Boy. You know what, guys? This dog bone reminds me... Of a story! That's right. You guys want to hear it? Yeah! All right, here it goes. Once upon a time, there was a greedy, greedy dog named Floyd. One day, Floyd invited himself to a backyard barbecue where he stole a big, fat, juicy steak. Then he snuck off to a quiet little stream he knew where he could dine undisturbed. When Floyd got there, he just happened to look in the water. And there he saw the face of a very hungry-looking dog. This dog also had a mouth-watering, juicy-looking steak between his teeth. Is this story making anybody else hungry? You guys want to take a break? Maybe grab a snack? No. no! Okay, let's get back to the story. Well, being a greedy, greedy dog, Floyd jumped into the water to try and snatch the other dog's steak away. But when he opened his mouth to grab the other dog's steak, he dropped his steak into the quickly moving stream. And that's when Floyd realized there was no other dog, only his own reflection. Floyd searched and searched, but the stream had carried his beautiful steak away. So instead of having two steaks, Floyd had none. You know what, guys? I was thinking, Brandon, if you gave your black crayon to James, and James, if you gave your brown crayon to Brandon, they both win. Okay. Way to go, guys. Great work. That's it. We'll see you next circle time inside Playhouse Disney. Bye-bye. I'll be in my room. Get your own movie. His name is Stitch. Sort of 